New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, I look at my stars. New York Yankees fans, I am sorry for not updating this channel for quite some time now. As I previously stated, I am working on other projects, uh, building it up. But I promise from here on out, we're going to update this channel daily, weekly. And we're going to mix it up a bit. We're going to move more into video format. Because that's what everybody's doing now on YouTube. Just taking uh, clips of games and uh, just uh, uploading it to YouTube. Hey, if everybody else is doing it, I might as well as well, right? So let's talk about the Tampa Bay Rays. Formerly known as the Devil Rays. Who have concocted a rivalry with the Yankees out of... Thin air because if you ask me, it makes absolutely zero sense. They hate the Yankees because CeCe Sabathia yelled at them. They hate the Yankees because they think Yankees pitchers uh, pitch high and tight to their batters. I mean, this uh, so-called rivalry makes zero sense. In my opinion, this has been all manufactured by Kevin Cash, the manager of the Rays. I mean, there's no substance behind this so-called rivalry. Because the real rivalry is Yankees versus Red Sox, not Yankees versus Rays. I could agree with the Rays if they were the Marlins, as the Marlins haven't in their history. They haven't lost a playoff series in their whole entire existence, but the Rays have. And the Rays are basically, compared to the Marlins, the Rays are losers. So I could see, let's say if the Marlins were the Rays, that I could see how the Rays and the Yankees could have a rivalry if the Rays were the Marlins. Like I said again, the Rays have no... Sure, they've had winning teams the last uh, 10 seasons, 10 plus seasons, but their history has been, hmm, you know, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, a team that has a lot of seasons where they lost over 100 games, and the Marlins do as well, but like I said... The Marlins show up when it counts when they reach the playoffs. The Rays, they do not. They obviously made the World Series one season, but they have nothing to show for it. So then again, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There's nothing there. You can't compare the Rays with the Yankees. The Rays haven't existed that long, so you could say that there's a huge rivalry here. I mean, like I said again, if the Rays actually won the World Series or, you know, when they make the playoffs, they don't lose, then I could say that, you know, they're a competitive force in the AL East. Sure, they are, but you cannot say that the Rays versus the Yankees is the same as saying the Red Sox versus the Yankees. I mean, stop it. Kevin Cash, stop it. Okay, I understand you're the manager. You want to get your team hyped up. I understand that Cease is a bad thing and Chapman, they're huge dudes. They yelled at your little puny players. They hurt their feelings, obviously. But stop it with this manufactured rivalry because, like I said again, it makes absolutely zero sense. I highly doubt Yankees players hate Rays players. Like, obviously, Rays players hate Yankees players. I highly doubt Yankees players go to sleep thinking about the Rays. As I do know for a fact that Rays players go to sleep thinking about the Yankees. And, again, Chapman did nothing wrong. Um, he's a strong Latino dude with an intimidating face. And he did nothing wrong. Uh, the ball slipped out of his hand. And, again, Kevin Cash, uh, his ploy blew it out of proportion. And this is... Uh, supposedly the Rays uh, winning outcry that the Yankees are bullies and the Rays are the underdog. So so you must uh, cheer for the Rays for uh, little Kevin Cash's uh, feelings. Uh, I can't believe that dude was a Yankee player at one point. I'm glad the Yankees uh, released that dude. It seems that Kevin Cash has held a grunge versus the Yankees ever since they uh, released him. Uh, they released him in a World Series uh, championship uh, season, too. So I can see why that dude has held a 
never-ending, lasting grudge against the Yankees. I mean, it shows with him as a manager because, again, this rivalry that Kevin Cash has concocted makes zero sense. You can't even put the Yankees and the Rays on the same level. You just can't. Then again, like I said, if they were the Marlins, then you can make the case. But they're the Rays. They're the team formerly known as the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. So who do I pick for this uh, five-game series? If the Yankees perform the same way they performed versus the Indians, I think the Yankees are going to take this series in about four games. I think Yankees players specifically are going to feel more comfortable playing in San Diego. The Yankees, uh, the majority of their players are from Southern California. The Yankees have a whole bunch of players from that area. We also have Boomer Wells with connections out there. I mean, you know, if I have to bet money, like I said, I'm going to pick the Yankees in four games. Yankees uh, losing one game and obviously winning three. So, yeah, I know the Yankees have flip-flopped a lot. I'm not a big fan of Matt Blake. I think uh, that guy has a lot of learning to do. I'm not so confident with Matt Blake, but I'm, I hope I'm wrong about him. But if the Yankees perform the way they performed uh, versus the Indians, the team that we expected the Yankees to have coming into the 2020 season, we said this is the best team ever. Obviously, you know, in that 60-game span, the Yankees weren't that great. But, you know, we saw what the Yankees are capable of in that Cleveland Indian series. And if they play the same way, it's going to be easy-peasy for the New York Yankees. So, like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Who's winning this series? Yankees versus Rays. Is this so-called rivalry blown out of proportion by the Rays, by Kevin Cash? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.